Good Go job. Nine-year-old Hayden Brinker isn't shy about explaining what's wrong with him. My back got broken in the middle, and it's like a switch, and it turned off my legs, stopped my legs from working. A bad car crash turned Hayden into a paraplegic. The minute I woke up, another car just hit us, and we um, just hit the tree. This little guy is realistic about his chances of walking. I know that's probably not going to happen. But Hayden refuses to give up. I've been trying almost anything. In the moments after a spinal cord injury, doctors say the course of treatment is crucial. We talk about a golden hour of, uh, of that critical time where you have to put a therapy on board. Patients should get to the closest level one trauma center. Doctors may give them corticosteroids, medicines that reduce swelling, or perform surgery as soon as possible. And in some cases, immediately cooling down the spinal cord with hypothermia therapy prevented damage. We're now starting to talk to the emergency vehicle staff that potentially can start IVs to, with cold saline to start hypothermia in the truck as they're coming to the hospital. For others, the important first hours are gone. Progress depends on where they go for rehab. According to U.S. News & World Report, top centers are spread out across the country. The Kessler Institute in New Jersey, the University of Washington in Seattle, the Rehab Institute of Chicago, and the Shepherd Center in Atlanta. Injured rugby player Dwayne Morrow says being at the Shepherd Center gave him access to technology like eSTEM. Technology today, if you have the right attitude and work ethic, who knows what you can get back. eSTEM uses electrical pulses to stimulate Dwayne's leg muscles. After a lot of practice, Dwayne was back on his feet. You know, it's good to be 5'10 again and, um, you know, looking people in the eye. If rehab fails, what does the future hold? It's really like our generation's moon mission. We're trying to go into territory that has not even been charted before. That territory is called neuroprosthetics, moving objects with the mind. It's really amazing. And w when you think that you're controlling a device just by thinking about it, it's just a revolutionary type of concept. It sounds like science fiction, but researchers trained rats to move a prosthetic arm using only their thoughts. They implant an electronic chip into the brain. A computer decodes the chip, and over time, the computer learns to adapt to the rat's needs. Eventually, when the rat thinks about moving, the computer responds by activating the arm. This technology could be available in the next five years. You have a paralyzed patient that's in a wheelchair. They think about moving that wheelchair over to some part of their room, and they're able to do that just by thinking about it. There is still no cure for spinal cord injury. Sometimes I, like, look at my friends, and they'll, like, have all the fun. Then I'll be there struggling. Hayden's struggles aren't going away, but there's now a better chance his future will include independence. This is Casey Taylor reporting.